Okay guys, it's Ryan again with Adaptive Firearms Institute. What I want to talk about today is the Gemtech Bolt Carrier Group. Um, actually, this thing is actually really neat. What they decided to do is actually have the ability to go from suppress mode to unsuppress mode and adjust it from your bolt carrier group. Difference in this guy is a little bit different than most. I mean, you have other options out there. I, and in fact, I have a gun that actually can show you these, some of these other options out here. Uh, you, I mean, basically this bolt carrier group allows you to go the difference between, say, adjustable gas block, which, you know, is another option you can go. I don't really love ad adjustable gas blocks in the sense that they have a tendency to, when the carbon builds up, you might end up getting under gas at some point. So that's the only thing I don't like about that. So I do tend to like stuff like the LaRue has the on-off switch or your uh, Nebeski that has the, um, the Nebeski has the, uh, switch block and uh, here's another one the war this is the war upper and I prototyped this years ago uh, this is a great upper receiver and this is another uh, way to adjust so all different options out there so Gemtech's answer was the bullet carrier group and if I can get a little close-up over here actually let's talk about this bullet carrier group as you can see you have an S here so currently we're in suppressed mode so simply on the back here and you can use a casing so that allows it to be mil spec we're going to go ahead and be able to turn this from suppressed mode to unsuppressed mode so it's as simple as that and then you go back into suppressed mode so what I'd like to show you guys is actually how this really does work so what we're going to do here is just a second we're going to do some live fire and show you how this actually works okay guys we're here on the line right now and what we'd like to go ahead and do is what I have here is a I went ahead and put my Bravo company bolt carrier group back in here so basically this gun's going to be a little over gas right now because I am running the suppressor with the standard BCG. So what we're probably going to see here in just a second is our extraction going to about 2 o'clock. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is go hot and we're going to go ahead and shoot about 3 shots and see where this extraction goes. Again, with the standard BCG. So going hot. Okay. And guys, just like we talked about, as you can see, the extraction is about, you know, 1.30, 2 o'clock. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead, without changing anything, I'm going to go ahead and just put the, B, uh, the Gemtech bolt carrier in here. And then we're going to go ahead and try it again with the exact same ammo, the exact same, and see if that extraction, I think what we're going to notice is it actually comes back to about 5.30 or so, about 5 o'clock. We're going to try that right now. Okay, guys, we're here now again at the firing line. What I did right now is I went ahead and put the Gemtech bolt carrier in. Now as you can see from this uh, from the external here we can actually see that it is in suppressor mode. So at this point what we're going to notice is again standing in the exact same spot we're going to notice that our brass went two o'clock earlier I think we're going to notice it's going to end up here about five o'clock. So we're going to go ahead and again try that again about three shots. Okay so as you can see all that brass went about where it should go. So this thing really does work. So if you're running a suppressor this is a really, really good tool to have in the toolbox. So here in a second, we're going to go back to the table and we'll talk just a little bit about my final thoughts. Okay, guys, so this Gemtech bolt, as uh, we said a little bit earlier, really, really cool. Uh, one thing I will add, it does not come with the cam pin, the firing pin, and the bolt. So it's not a complete bolt carrier group. So you're going to have to, you're going to pay, I don't know exactly what these things retail for, I think about $250. So you got to keep in mind, you're going to have to spend another probably $100 to complete this group. Uh, so it's just something to be aware of. Uh, I really like it. It's a really, really good product. Um, one thing I will tell you is it does slow down even in non-suppressed mode. It will slow your rifle down. So what I mean by that, if you have a slightly over gas gun, this will aid in help bringing it back because it will slow down the cycle a little bit because naturally this cam pin is going to have two different holes in it and that's basically how it works. When you go from non-suppressor mode, you actually have a bigger hole and then when you go to suppressor mode, you naturally have a smaller hole. So that being said, you're going to have some gas loss and the way Gemtech actually designed it is they put a little hole here and that, that's supposed to expel any excess gas. So it actually really will work. Uh, there's some tests online you can actually see the the science in it but so again if you have a slightly over gas gun but you don't want to go you want to keep that reliability and don't exactly want to go to an adjustable gas block the bolt carrier might just solve the over gassing even if you don't run a suppressor but if you run the suppressor you have that added benefit of being able to go to suppressed mode 
So it's just something to, uh, you know, to just keep in mind. It is a great product. It's $250. Uh, so you got to, you know, decide if that's in your budget and that's going to work for you. If it does, good product. Stay tuned for further reviews.